All right, what's going on everybody? Um, so today we are installing the uh, CB radio here um, that I got yesterday. Uh, right now I'm just finding out that I'm just not that inclined to clean things up a little bit and um, make them make the install as clean as possible. So I decided not to. Um, what I will do is I plan to um, put in the, uh, what do we call it? Um, the mounting bracket for the CB radio right here and I'm just gonna have this wire come through down into my glove compartment to store up all this extra wires right in here and then it comes right out to my uh, cigarette lighter that's it um, so right now that's that's the plan right now I, I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the um, actual antenna because right now it's it's on like the very back of the car and if it can reach that far great if it can't then I'm gonna have to figure something else out so that being said, um, I will see you once I get the uh, the bracket installed. Right now, all I have is this wonderful screwdriver, so I'm going to use some screws and just kind of make my own little hole into the dash. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I will talk to you all in a second. Okay, so we have the final product here. Um, like I said, I got the power cord running into the glove compartment and then the slack is going to sit in there and the other power just goes straight up here. So, um, and then I also have the speaker cable coming out, going under the dash, following it down that way, and it goes through the trim all the way to the very back, which you can see the wire. I still need to tuck that, but then this, uh, whatchamacallit, um, antenna is now on the top of the car right it, it, it's cool so far I need to get used to it and figure out how to how to work it a little bit better um but yeah it's, it's fun so far let's see um got the so it's pretty cool so right now um has the 40 channels emergency channel 9 button so that's pretty cool um yeah, pretty nice so far. And then I have it hooked up to the uh, cigarette lighter that only turns on with the accessory power. Um, therefore, it turns off as soon as I turn the key off. I need to get um, some screws to put the um, holder for the microphone somewhere around here. But um, the... Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. These are the... Uh... Come on, focus, focus. I guess that's as much focus as it's going to get here, let's see. Those are the screws that came with the um, microphone holder, and unfortunately there's no tip to them. And I need I don't have a drill, so I've been actually like screwing them into the dash, so I need to get little screws like that. And I just dropped it, except it's right there. Uh, I need to get little screws kind of like this, so I can screw them in somewhere and put the mic somewhere. But right now I'll probably just leave it down into here. Um, yeah, no big deal. I'm actually pretty excited. It came out pretty well. It was it was relatively cheap too, so I got the whole setup for under hundred dollars. I know it's probably not the best CB radio, but it'll have to do for now. I mean, I'm only really going to use it off roading um, with buddies and stuff. So I'm gonna say it was money well spent. Now the next thing we got to do is install or figure out how to mount the uh, X Bowl traction boards because they don't fit across or lengthwise. So we're gonna have to get creative with those, which I'm, I'm kind of dreading. But once they are mounted, they're gonna be, look so awesome up there. I do know that. All right, what's going on guys? So uh, today we're gonna do part two of the video. Um, yesterday I installed the CB radio, which I had a lot of fun with. I do wanna say anybody buying the Amazon CB radio and getting this thing, the little thing that has two leads to the um, the wires. Don't get this. Hardwire it into something here. I got it running um, into my light switch for my LED bar, and it's running constant power. So I mean, it's fine. Um, it doesn't. The light bar doesn't need to be on or anything. But at the same time, these things are absolute garbage. I tried it once and it worked for a little while, and then. Um, I came out probably three hours later, started up my car, tried turning on my CB radio, and the fuse apparently had blown on this. So, 
and I looked it up and everything like that and somebody else had the same review on Amazon and they said like the fuse in here is abnormally small and like it's a weird diameter or dimension or something like that so that's trash no more of that so I have it hardwired kind of into the switch which I'm gonna zip tie that to make it a little bit cleaner uh, maybe push the wires down a little bit farther over there but um, on the upside my the correct size shackle came today in the mail so I'm about to go pick that up and um, well I mean it's a good day it's it's it says it's 32 degrees out but right now it is so warm the Sun is out it is a beautiful day in Morgantown so I think I'm gonna take advantage of that maybe I'm gonna repaint some of the uh, the rust up on the brush guard and then um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to mount these max tracks because they they are too big this way across and they're with a tire I can't fit them like front and back so I need to figure out a way where I can mount them either on the side or up on their sides next to the tire um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but I really don't want to have to keep them inside the cabin um, that's gonna be a lot of space that has to be taken up so we'll see how it goes but right now I think y'all deserve a little cold start or I guess warmer start I don't know it hasn't started up in at least like seven eight hours who knows all right so a little update <clears throat> we got the uh d-ring and everything from the mail um unfortunately it's a little small it's uh not it's the uh what do you call it half inch pin so the whole d-ring itself gets smaller but it's rated for um i think two and a half tons and the escape is like with me in it maybe 4100 pounds i don't know with all the stuff i put on it's probably right right around two tons so i mean this thing should hold up um now if i need to pull anybody heavier than that i have another um strap in or not strap but another hitch thing that i can use inside the escape that i'll keep in there for bigger recoveries but this thing will do for now and it, honestly it looks I mean, it's very small, but it looks a lot better than the big ass thing just hanging probably by foot length behind the car. So that's good. And then um, I now have the uh, CB wire coming out here and connected the antenna right there. Um, so right now I've also kind of kind of placed the uh, Mac or not Mac tracks, but the uh, bull. I kind of know where I want to put the X bull traction bars now, so um, I'm thinking probably right around there. I'm gonna strap them, probably with a, a ratchet strap or a few clips and maybe a cable lock. But I think it looks good so far. With the antenna and everything up there—it's coming out pretty well. Um, soon I'm gonna get some uh, gas and water cans that I can mount up here and. Uh, Actually, one of my buddies, uh, Matt, has a awning that goes to the side of his uh, roof basket. I think that would be pretty sick if I can get one. He got it for dirt cheap. Matt, if you're watching, you actually, uh, I was really tempted to come down there for West Virginia and pick up that awning. I thought that would be pretty sick, but good on you for getting it. It looks really good. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of all the stuff I've gotten for the escape so far. Um, the D-ring is all right. I'm a little worried about it, but I think I should be fine. I'm going to test it out this weekend, um, actually tomorrow, because I'm going back into Virginia and going to hang out with my uh, buddy Jack, who is actually moving, but um, he wanted to go off-roading one more time before he left. So we got, uh, he has a, I think it's an early 2000s Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I think he has lifted two inches. I want to say two inches and has a winch um some aftermarket headlights all this other stuff i'm pretty excited to go see him and uh go trailing with him uh, yeah he's driving he'll see me radio because i was like hey it's only 50 bucks or so to get it and i mean why not so, basket um when i initially got it i didn't have anything on it but pretty excited and we got the siren, which I found out that today is spring break. Therefore, I'm going to have lots of time to film videos. So I'm going to try to film out a whole bunch. I'm going to say heck with the schedule because honestly, 
I haven't really been keeping up with it too much, so I'm going to say heck with the schedule, and um, you're just going to get as many videos as possible this week. So today you're, well, today is Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to edit this tonight or if I'm going to put it out tomorrow, which is Sunday for, or today for y'all. Whatever day, today is for y'all is the day I put it out. Um, so there's that, and then Sunday night or Sunday evening, I'm going to go off-roading with my friend Jack. I'm going to film that a lot. He's really excited to actually uh, do a video. Um, so we're going to do that. And then the rest of the week, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just kind of trying to get some photo shoots in, um, film as much as I can. I'm, I don't even know what else, but I want to go off-roading if the weather's nice. And uh, we'll go from there. But <clears throat> Okay, real quick, I want to kind of show you where the wire is running for the uh, antenna. I got it running back down behind this panel here. And goes back through here up and around <clears throat> and then I need to figure out how to tuck it back here but that's the wire that just goes straight up to my antenna um, just flopping around back here I'm gonna try to put it either up in there or I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but right now that's as far as I've gotten um, it works pretty well I'm really excited I might get a taller antenna eventually but so far it's worked so great so yeah we got a we got a few things to do today Okay, so now for the past hour I've been tinkering with stuff on the car, and um, really I thought of a solution, which I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, is um, the only reason I've kept my siren on when I'm driving anything like that, or not my siren, like I'm not, I'm not actually playing the siren, but the box is on. Is on. Um, the only reason I have that is because my horn don't work. The fuse is actually broken, it blew probably a few months ago, so... We're gonna go replace it. I'm gonna run over to AutoZone, get that fuse, and then I'm also gonna grab some paint for the brush guard. And if they have any straps for the um, traction boards, then I'm gonna grab that. I think I found a perfect spot for them, so I'm pretty, I'm actually really stoked on that. Um, turn the TV on, I can leave that off for now, I don't really care. And yeah, we're gonna go over to AutoZone, <coughs> pick up what we need, and then, um, come back here fix it all and and yeah right now today's been a pretty good day um what time is it i don't even know it is 1 14 um so getting a lot of stuff done early on in the day um it's pretty nice so off to autozone all right y'all so this is the uh, final product of my uh, <coughs> expo traction boards attaching them to my um, roof basket really it's just uh, some bungees that are pretty strong. I'm not too worried about them coming off or anything like that. And if they are, I can extend them out a little bit. Maybe to there. Yeah, probably about there is fine. And then I also got a um, tire lock attached to them over there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's right there. So pretty decent. I think it should hold up pretty well. I'm gonna go test drive with it. Make sure there's no rattling around of anything or um, something like that. So overall, I think it's been a pretty successful day. I figured out something's wrong with my horn, like really wrong with my horn. And then uh, mounted the Max, or not Max Tracks, I keep calling them Max Tracks, traction boards. And um, what else? Got the CB hooked up. Um, I'm now painting the front bull bar or brush guard a little bit. That used to be rust, rust, rust. So I gotta do a few more coats on then. And uh, after that, it should be fine. So I'm pretty stoked on how everything's starting out. I think the traction boards look awesome up there. Now I need a shovel, an axe, and some gas cans. And I think up there should be complete. Um, yeah, I'm pretty really, I'm actually really stoked on how everything's coming out. So, we finish up all the painting, and then that's about done. Alright, so I thought I'd finish off the video here. Um, I know I didn't do it earlier in the day, so, um, right now I'm just about to start editing this video to get that out for you, hopefully before midnight. Um, I don't know about the internet, so, whatever, but, um, I'm gonna start... Uh, preparing for tomorrow because I got to make the drive back to Virginia um, I got to get some clothes I'm gonna charge up all of my camera equipment um, 
my friend Jack and I are, as I said earlier in the video, Jack and I are going to go off-roading and we're going to make a good video out of that. So I got to make sure all my stuff is charged and packed. Um, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be so much fun. And um, I'm excited to see his transformation of his Jeep. The last time I saw it, it was basically stock. Um, so he's put a lift on it. He's put recovery points on it. He's put a winch on it, lights. You name it. It's, it's going to be awesome. So I'm pretty excited for that. So yeah, I'm just going to end the video right here. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.